Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video about Blender sounds boring, but maybe not. Uh, I just wanted to share my experience of the journey between Blenders and maybe help you to choose one um, if you're in the same position as me and uh, basically reflect on my journey as a whole. So, as a person that never deal with any blenders, I had no idea uh, what's the difference between them and to me, uh, bigger is better and also I did not see any reason to pay more money for uh, expensive ones because they look smaller and they obviously, you know, small. So, my first uh, uh, blender that I bought uh, was, I think, um, uh, just unknown brand and then I quickly moved into uh, Sunbeam and I think it's 700 watt uh, uh, blender which lasted me maybe a year and um, it was all nice and good when I was meshing or, or blending um, soft fruits and uh, I discovered my kind of hard way uh, what's the difference between good blender and bad blender? Uh, so, uh, for example, if you look at the blade that cutting what you put inside, um, some people have a big container, but very small um, knives inside, the blending knives. Here's you've got not, not your bullet, and look at the size of that blade. Look at the comparison. So obviously it tells you something. But you know, before I try, I didn't know any better. So to me, I could put all my fruits in, what's the difference? And it was working well until uh, last couple of months. So what changed since then? Since then, I was watching a video um, that was published by Dr. Berg. Uh, I've got no affiliation to Dr. Berg. He just a really good source of knowledge. And he suggested uh, if you ever drink lemon water to use a blender to blend not only lemons themselves but also skin. Allegedly in a lemon skin uh, you've got more nutrients that in the lemon itself as vitamin C and other things. As a person that never taken vitamin C in a supplement because it's mostly ascorbic acid I always uh, was uh, drinking uh, lemon tea and eating lemons and all of that, but I never used pill uh, as a part of my nutrition uh, regime. So I decided to blend lemons as a whole. I've got more access to uh, limes than lemons, and this is where I encounter uh, my first problem with a blender, which is Sunbeam. So. If you look at the limes, there's are two different types. You've got bigger limes, I, I'm not sure about names, and smaller limes. And the funny is that, that the bigger limes got much softer skin. So with that, Sunbeam was struggling. Not struggling from a motor perspective. 700 watts is more than enough to blend um, uh, softer uh, lemons and, and limes. But from a mass perspective, first of all, it wasn't cutting well. And second, uh, I could smell the whole uh, setup not really performing well and struggling. So this is how uh, we came up with a neutral bullet. By the way, everything that I described today, I would publish uh, also a Dr. Berg video if you're interested in this, and also uh, links to neutral bullet and uh, Sunbeam uh, below this video, so you can check out yourself. And if you need one, feel free to click and buy. And this is the way. Uh, you can also support my channel. But back to description. So everything was going until I start uh, blending uh, limes. And that's how this blender blew up. It would not uh, cope with, um, I guess, intensity of crushing limes. They look small, those things, but they really got thick skin. And to cut through that skin, you really need a lot of power and mechanism to support it. So again, look at that mechanism. Uh, even if your bullet is small, you got a huge blade and also really quite big mechanism that support that motion. 
in a stone beam, you've got very small blade that it wouldn't even cut the limes and also a very small mechanism that got jammed almost instantly after start blending them. So here's the first difference. The second one is washing sunbeam is not pleasant at all. It's a big container and it's bulky and it gets stuck everywhere. With Ninja Bullet, uh, it's actually quite cool. You got that cup and I'll show you in a second how I make it. The reason why I'm not making it right now because it's quite noisy. But that cup that you blend in, when you finish, it comes with a kind of top which becomes sippy cup. So you don't have to use anything else to... Uh, I guess drink if you, if you want to go, or if you want to drink straight away. Uh, this one, when you pour in, it just basically goes everywhere. Like, it's, it's not nasty, it's just cheap and not uh, well designed for purpose. And also, Nitro Bullet comes with, I guess, uh, spare cups if you would like to uh, uh, you know, share your drink with someone else. And I tell you what, it crushes through everything. So if you got my opinion about Nutri Bullet, I think there's a couple of different models. I'll try to post all of them down below if I find them. Uh, I would say if you can afford, go for more powerful one because you never know like me what you're gonna blend. So I just learned that skin is most nutritious part of the lemon and lime. So I'm not even cutting them now. When I uh, finish talking, I will show you what I do. It's amazing how, um, effortless neutral bullet goes through the whole thing and blends it into a drinkable substance um, so uh, if you ask me about neutral bullet i'm using it for a couple of months already um, it has suction cups at the bottom um, so it doesn't move around like uh, sunbeam even though it's heavy construction it still moves around when it uh, blends stuff so it, it sits well, it's not as noisy as Sunbeam, even though it's, uh, it's noisy, it's not as noisy as other one and it cuts through everything. So would I recommend it? Yeah, for sure. If you blend your fruit or if you blend your fruit or, or vegetables, whatever you blend, it's probably the most advanced um, blender out there and it's also powerful. So I think there are a couple of models, uh, if you can afford, choose a, a more powerful one. Otherwise, you know, they're all good to go. So without further ado, let me show you how it works. And I think in the middle of the blending, I'll stop video because it's boring watching it uh, uh, go on for 30 seconds. By the way, when it's finished blending, it's stopping it. So unlike Sunbeam, you need to actually use dial to stop it. So there's a one button operation. You twist it in, it blends, and when it's finished blending, it stops. So what I usually do, I, uh, and this is actually a recipe for extremely healthy drink if you would like to detox your liver and if you can uh, handle it, don't add any sweet stuff and if you can't handle it, add um, artificial sweetener, try to get a more healthy one like monk fruit or erythritol or something like that. So here you go, I'm dumping one big lime and two small limes in the container. Also, I'll get uh, some ice, I think uh, ice is good, it makes drink uh, nicer to drink. So, uh, here's the three limes and ice, and I also add half cup of the green tea that I brewed earlier. So, it's basically very rich antioxidant drink that detoxifies your liver if it's your purpose. So here you go. That's a half cup of tea. What I'll do then, I'll twist it in and it will be, it will be blended in a measure of 10 seconds, but it will go for 30 seconds. So before all that noise happens, thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time. Here how it's effortlessly blending those lines. show it in a couple of seconds how liquid it is. There is no one bit of the hard uh, peel or substance. Give it 20 seconds and it will be done.
think it's 30, 40 seconds. Um, no effort at all. Look, it is all totally liquid, no pills, nothing. And trust me, those pills were so hard and so even cutting it if, if knife is not sharp, it was really hard to go through it. So here you go, Nutri Bullet, 1200 watts, I think so, going through anything without any effort. Thank you for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.